ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast that encourages tax fraud. It doesn't work the second time around. You, you, we were in good flow. You it doesn't work for us. It works for them, though. They don't know if there's a first time. Uh, Who's there? Why are you going to ruin the magic, bro? You did. And I mean, I didn't. I ruined it for you guys, well, but not for the people viewing. The people that are viewing now, they get to oh, see your shirt with, with <laughs> Barney the Dinosaur. Yes. And for all the audio listeners, there's Barney the Dinosaur. Could you describe Barney for people that don't know who Barney is? First? Okay, Barney the Purple Dinosaur is a purple dinosaur with a green belly, and he is a uh, children's cartoon. Show? Your your no, babysitter yeah. in the nineties. So yeah, basically, it was it's the mascot, the purple dinosaur, and on uh, Poseidon's uh, chest it says commit sexual assault. No, it says commit tax fraud. Oh yeah, so they don't know because they're audio. Okay, so it says commit sexual assault, <laughs> and if you turn around, it says commit war crimes, and there's a photo of Zelensky. And uh, Putin on there, oh God. so it's a pretty <laughs> avant-garde uh, attire. I'm up to date. Decided to go with today. <laughs> yeah, Zelensky. Do we like this guy? What's happening? No, we don't like him. No, no he's done. Like he's out. He's, uh, he's he's we never liked. They, they, I never liked. They him. figured out that the uh, guy from Ukraine, SNL, uh, wasn't <laughs> yeah. really cut out to be a politician. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> they we figured don't that like, one out. We don't like Zelensky or Putin. The Putinskis can go fuck themselves. Yeah. All right. I got my yeah, own that's problems. a mess. Uh, yeah, I gotta worry about them. They don't worry about me, bro. Me, I got my own problems. You okay. know what? Uh, even though you said that very retardedly, you're correct. Correct. You're correct. Yeah, we have our own problems over here, overseas, bro. We have a fucking uh, government that can't run itself. We do. Well, speak- I, speaking of government, uh, did you guys know wh- where was it? In Spain or Portugal? I think it was Spain. Spain. Uh, España. I'm in Spain without the S. Hispania. That doesn't make any sense. Without the S? You're Portuguese? No, I'm in pain. No, yeah. it's Spain. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. No, no. Or, or, or I'm Hispania. in Spain without the P. I'm insane. Well, actually, it's Hispania. So if you're. That didn't work. Three you're times. Epania. You're just a penis. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but that's when you say it like you're a the, the, the Hispanic way. I'm yeah. saying it the, the English Hispanic, way. I'm Hispanic saying Spain. Hispanic way isn't even the right way because yeah. you're talking about Europe and Hispanic is North American Spanish. You bastard. Okay, how am I supposed to know this, bro? You think I'm Latinx or some shit over here? Uh, Latin it's pronounced was correct. Latinx. <laughs> Latinx. <laughs> Why was I so mad at you with that? I don't Nothing know. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know. Uh, what uh, was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, in Spain. Uh, that's where I was going with this. The fucking the government shut down. Oh my god! And uh, businesses started booming, thriving, thriving. The, there was no government that suspended for ten months, and the economy flourished. <laughs> flourished. Uh, there were uh, m- less people on the streets. There were uh, yeah, a lot of murders. Uh, okay, a lot but of what murders. what rules did they follow? No rules. Just everyone started working naturally. Bro. Okay, so eight months of that's chaos is what you're saying. Uh, that's basically what? what he's saying. No, no chaos. Isn't that the they flourished, bro? They they were thriving. They started thriving okay, with not without government, I thought, bro. I thought flourished means that they were getting watered, watered like plants. They were flowered. They were flourished. Yeah, but a flower flourishes like it grows and it's beautiful. I think you're they exaggerating flourish. the no he's, government he's, he's, rule. He's running with the flourish. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're you're exaggerating the Spain had no government part. Exaggerating uh, is an old Spanish warship. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers! You basically <laughs> said Spain uh, anarchy can survive with anarchy. That's but there was no anarchy. I am a nana. I can't. There's no, there's no skinheads in Spain. <laughs> Why do skinheads have anything to do with there anarchy? There are skinheads in Spain. I know. <laughs> They're called a skinhead. <laughs> there's no. a TH. They're a Mister head. skinhead <laughs> no <laughs> head home. Yeah, yeah. Mister skinhead no here. Soy muy aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> Donde está el Ajax? <laughs> Ajax. Uh. <laughs> Ajax, uh, the best soccer team, bro. Mm, I love Ajax. Wasn't it? Isn't it a clean d- detergent? That's no, Ajax. I- Ajax FC. Yeah. And uh, Ajax Amsterdam. I have no idea what the fuck you guys are talking about. Ajax, the team. I don't know. It. They're white and red. Forty minutes outside of Toronto. Not fans of Jews. For real? I or they're really big fans of Jews. It's one of the two. I can't remember. It's World War Two. Well, one league. of them is very alarming. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I mean, in that part of Europe, it's just. Uh, it's par for the course, either side. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? I could tell you I ate some of the greatest food in my life in Spain. His Spain. Oh, we're back to Spain. We're travel. We're the international podcast. Yeah, we are. Yeah, they have uh, a tapas there. We which, are. Um, you basically what's, what's tapas? You, you, taste, you taste a little bit of everything. So instead of like a big meal, uh, you know, a big plate in front of you, when you go to a restaurant, it's a bunch of little plates. So you can Why? To taste everything. You know, like... Uh, you know, or hear me out. 
since you're spending probably at least a week there, why don't you have different full meals every single day of the week? Like, let's say you have three meals in a day. That's not what tapas right? is. No, but are you saying one but, plate or one meal? Like what? Like one plate. Like we'll get one thing of each every day. You don't have to have all these little plates, bro. That's, That's retarded. What fat people say. Yeah. <laughs> Poseidon, you're replying as if he told you I had great lamb chops. And you're like, wait, hold on, hear me out for a second. Why don't you have ten? <laughs> Why would you eat lamb? To just eat no, the no, whole no, 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 no. There's an entire lamb there. No, no, Why no, no. just no, sell lamb love chops? That. Because hold on, hold on. I love food <laughs> as much as you do. What I loved about it is because you go to different places and it's all just a taste like an hors d'oeuvre. Imagine it's a whole country full of hors d'oeuvres. It's wonderful. It's Beautiful. an hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. They whole do country. also have a lot of whores, though. Hey. Spain? Yeah. They're not known for whores, are they? Yeah. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're I think you're mixing up Amsterdam. No, no, they have Spain. a lot of uh, prostitutes. They even have a place in Spain that's right next to, like, close to the border of France that's, like, famous for French people coming south of the border and just bang all kinds of prostitutes and then going back. Like oh, they bang it's a church. Uh, it's That's called... A church. Um, uh, and la, it's not just the French. <laughs> la place de la pute espagnole. <laughs> no. <laughs> no <it's> <laughs> la place de la pute espagnole. <laughs> oh, God, that French <laughs> rooster's back. What was the name of that guy? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, my brain is fucking... Oh, my God. So, my. oh, shit, I didn't know that. So there's, yeah, a, yeah, there's the, a spot where, like, non-Spanish Algerians go down and bang hookers. <laughs> <laughs> they brought me to the docks like that in Naples once, yeah. What do you mean? Oh. By the docks okay. in Naples. By the beach. You know, when, when you were a kid, did you did this? Did you do this? Uh, when we used to drive to uh, Saint Laurent and Saint Catherine, that corner, when we were eighteen, and look at the the the, the girls calling uh, working tricks there. Uh, the no, because girls. they were disgusting. I never I, engaged. I, I have two things to say. You must freeze for a second. Number one, I noticed something, and I'm curious to see if that's. Do you say when you speak English? Do you say Saint Laurent or do you say Saint Lawrence? I am guilty of saying St. Lawrence. That's number one. Number two, yeah, when I was growing up too, in that region, if you'd see a streetwalker, she was hideously disfigured. Okay, but yeah, when you're, you know, in Italy uh, uh, with your kids in Naples, with your cousins oh, Hold on, because I want to answer we, him. We drove to that part of uh, town. Hold on, there's, there's and, a uh, hooker-related addendum. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you completely skipped over his question. I think... This question? <laughs> his question. We're quenching his can, thirst can, for hookers. You, you can say... Uh, either Saint Laurent or Saint Lawrence. Yeah. I think either or is acceptable. In English, what you in English, you, what you cannot say is call it the main like a fucking loser. I don't know who calls it that. Phil, <laughs> this is just I just wanted to bash Phil. Yeah, does, uh, does he really? He does. He yes. Call, well, he, he may have suffered a head injury, and we don't know about <laughs> it. Like the groundhog, <laughs> Phil. No, no, no. Our Phil Bonas, host of the morning um, show alongside yes. George Jiggity Jiggity <laughs> Jam Rizos, Wednesdays and Fridays on Pantel's <laughs> Comedy. He goes out of his way to call it the main? Yes. Like when you're giving directions, just uh, go, uh, he'll say the main. I remember the first time we were talking about, I was talking about like Saint Laurent and it was, and then he started saying the main. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? But I you got could so say angry. the main. I want to join the main vein. <laughs> I got right. so angry, bro. He's like, the main, bro, the main. You know why it's called the main? Because it separates east and west. Yes, it used to be the main, and there was even a smoke meat shop across the shore. It's called the main. Yeah, the yeah. one that nobody, when you don't want to wait in line, go there. It tastes yeah, the same. Exactly. When you don't want to, I got a steak there once. It's uh, it, it used to have a sixteen dollar rib steak there, bro. It was fantastic. Yeah. I'm sorry. The real reason it's called the main because it's the main artery of the island goes from south. To well, not north. the main artery. A lot of arteries go south north. It's because yeah. it was the main street. Everyone was on there. No, because it goes all the way south of the island to all the way north. Like your esophagus. It stops at. Uh, Henry Barassa, if I'm not mistaken. So that's not all the way north. Look, it's Gwen. it's ninety five percent of the Gwen. way. Bro. Well, then Lackadie is even further. Lackadie touches no. the water. Yeah, it is no. Lackadie touches Gwen, but Lackadie ends at Park Extension to the middle of the island. Boma. No, Park Avenue also it continues. It stops and then continues. No, because Park Avenue turns into Blurry. Yeah, it's the same street. Yes, this it's not Park local Avenue. map talk yeah. has yeah. been brought to you by <laughs> the intellectuals. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. You're welcome. No, it's the main street because it was the main street that they were on. That's why. I see. I see. I see. It's like it's not. It's not as nefarious as you think. It's literally called the main street because. Oh, was but the main there's nothing street. nefarious about it going from south to north. Yeah, you're thinking too deep. It could I have see. been east to west. If it was the main street, it would be the main one. I see. I see. Yeah. Saint Catherine was the main street. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it but then, then it your mother took it time it off work. <laughs> <laughs> it that joke is only good for older <laughs> Montrealers because the young ones don't get it, but the older Montrealers. It, Whenever you refer to a hooker 
or a chick that's what will you say you work in you work on St. Catherine yeah I, okay. I remember I remember yeah, yeah you but other people don't get like I, I know don't, I don't get the reference but speaking of uh, street workers yeah okay and we're gonna go back to what you were gonna uh, say a little addendum because he didn't correct it and he made it sound like his mom's a hooker Saint Poseidon's mom is not a hooker oh no no so she never speaking, was no. not speaking of, of uh, street hookers <laughs> although that was, the, uh, that was the dumbest segue yes like, it was like, although my <laughs> job. speaking of hookers my dad's side of the family has always accused her of being a hooker yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's what you say yeah. as an insult. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Because they hated her because she divorced my father. Yeah. When when you when when you talk without to probable cause, <laughs> no, <laughs> with a lot of probable <laughs> cause, my friend. With a lot of improbable <laughs> causes leading to it. So back to your Saint Lawrence, Saint Laurent thing. Did I say Saint Lawrence or Saint Laurent? You said Saint Laurent. I always say Saint Lawrence because I have I see said people Saint get Lawrence. mad at me. I have said Saint Lawrence. You've yeah. heard me say Saint Lawrence. In, in French, I say Saint Laurent. Hold on, in people me, get mad at you. Yeah, I've seen, Why? I've seen looks because they're like, "What is?" It? it takes them a second to realize what street I'm speaking of, and then when they realize, like, "What an ass!" They think I'm I'm translating to be a dick, but I'm just speaking no. It's your that natural. Language. It's your natural answer. Yeah, uh, but fuck those people. Like, anyway, like, 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 for example, in English, I'll say bordel, but in French, I'll say bordel. Yeah, I'm 100%. Not, yeah. yeah, that's fine. We're a bilingual city, bro. I don't understand what the fucking big I'm deal is. I'm the only is. one who tries to be bilingual. Everyone else hates each other. <laughs> but sometimes you'll get an anglophone that says St. Catharines, like, as in St. Catharines, Ontario, and it bothers yeah, me. Yeah, there's no S. It's St. Catherine. It's always mm. St. Catherine. It's not St. Catharines. No. I say St. Catharines. Yeah, you say a lot of that because shit. Because you're from... Well, because I Cornwall. put an apostrophe S. All the time, because yeah. he, yeah. he's, he's, he's dyslexic. But I have a story about these street hookers. <laughs> So the first time I, I came close to close with one was, uh, I close remember. To close. I came close like, to uh, close. Like, you know, like uh, face to face. First time <laughs> I come to face to close. face with his goblin. Close to close. He said close That's to so close. so retarded. <laughs> close to close. So close to close like butter and toast, bro. <laughs> close. To, I've never heard that. Close <laughs> to close. That's so stupid. <laughs> I'm George Norrie and east of the Rockies, you're on close to close. <laughs> close to close I am. Close to close and coast to coast. <laughs> So um, I remember during my ACN days, okay, now for those of you who don't know, I um, basically landed in a fucking, um, what, do you, what do you call those? Um, uh, Poseidon was the lower half of a pyramid scheme. Uh, he was the bottom part. Oh, no, I was the one-tenth of the lower yeah, Poseidon. No, no, but you were the guy with the target on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was oh, 18, I was okay, dumb. Okay. I was trying to like... I'll, I'll rephrase it. The pyramid scheme. The pyramid, Poseidon <laughs> wasn't even part of the pyramid. He was one of the slaves pulling the rocks towards yeah, the pyramid. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, <laughs> and oh, a cult, that's the word I was looking for because it is very culty. It is culty. All that it shit is very... Culty. All that shit is fucking culty as fuck. And that's culty. what... Uh, sorry? Culte. What's that word? Culte? Culte. Oh, cool. oh, fucking! Bro, every cool time thing? you do, it's like Hu Jackman all over <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, cool thing. Yeah, like Hu Jackman. Like, yeah. like, uh, Hu Jackman is an actor and a half. Yeah. <laughs> How about that Hu Jackman thing I showed you? Anyway, yeah. very boring. But anyways, we're, we're so I remember during my ACN days there was this guy. Okay, that's and a good story. He loved hookers. Okay, <laughs> as as we all do. Yeah. He if loved. Only we had live video feed of that. Guy <laughs> <right> <laughs> <laughs> I didn't love hookers at the time yet. Uh, I didn't love these bitches yet. yet. I learned a lot. Yet. I grew up. No, no, no. Because to me, they were all fucking, uh, f like, they all look like fucked up fish oh, on the street. On. So when he said hookers, you assumed he meant the, the corner ones. Yes, but okay. he loved, he, so he loved banging like high end hookers like and shit. fucked up fish. But he liked messing with the street ones. So he'd, he'd roll up to the ones on the street yeah. and he'd be like, hey, come on, baby, I'm going pip. And he'd mess you with him. in English because we have an international. Hey, how much for a uh, blowjob, basically? But he would do it with an accent and he'd fuck with them. I'd be like, look, I'll give you 20 bucks to, to come uh, mop my floor or whatever. I have a business. We'll Is that like, like a euphemism? No, no. He would say shit like that just to fuck with them. And, like, and they'd be like, oh, no, I don't want to mop. And they're like, but you'd suck my dick for five bucks. So he'd mess with them like that, you know? That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Okay, so but, the, but the thing is, bro, we just. Left 20 bucks to suck a dick or 50 to mop the floor. Paul, I'll take the 20. Yeah, so. there you go. You know, so. So it's fucking hilarious. This is the beauty of what I was trying to say before. Yes. So bullying in in Naples when my cousins and my friends after you know smoking weed driving around would go to the areas in oh, Naples. Okay, that's and what, you were. what was funny was how hilarious these 
hookers were. Yeah, yeah, Because they yeah. had answers prepared. Yeah, yeah, they were. That they, was where the laugh was. They had okay, a I get it. Yeah. They, okay, they, I didn't know that's what you were going into. Yeah, because they, they, they got her all day long. What come was on. their comeback? I don't come to where you work and slap your dad's dick uh, out of your hand. Uh, like, I oh. think he was trying to say, uh, I, I'm Michael Jackson or something. And he says, yeah, if you're Michael Jackson in Thriller, I'm the fucking zombie or some shit like that. But it was so funny. Okay, that's okay. a good line. That's actually it was very insulting like, herself. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it's true, actually. This, she clapped back by clapping on herself. Do you have any crack? But, but I'm talking about the, the get to the funny right away. You know, like... Wait, how are Italian hookers? Hey, Baravid, if you are the Italian yeah. zombie, I am another zombie. Uh, you have the crack for me. <laughs> Correct. There's a crack of cocaine available. If, if, if I uh, would recommend something to our friends... Mamma um, mia, my friend OD'd. There's a... There's a, a in the kitchen, the cooking, the crack of cocaine. It's a, it's a movie called uh, Night... A magic marker. A fucking <laughs> a fill the pen. Whip it in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking adrenaline shot. They are calling me Young Spatula because I be flipping it. <laughs> Pretty good. Not well bad. <laughs> it, it's a movie called Night on Earth with Jack Roberto. Jack Rabatino Slimmies. <laughs> Jack Rabbit Slimmies. Okay. Ah, ah. It was a teenage wedding. <laughs> and when Marco came to tell me. <laughs> well. Don't you love when you go to the bathroom, you come back and all the food is here for you? I have said to go to Daniel. <laughs> Get to the fucking shot. <laughs> Get to the shot. There is a dead fucking whore in my house. <laughs> Jesus <And Christ. laughs> This is what I'm going to tell this motherfucker who call her right now. <laughs> I used to be Marty McFly. <laughs> what does a nine dollar a shake? What does an eleven a euro <laughs> shake taste like? I have to pay five dollars for this milkshake. Is uh, my lira good here? <laughs> okay, carry on. Okay, okay. So, so, uh, but that night I was pissed off, bro, because I just wanted to go home. It was like fucking three thirty in the morning. We're leaving I from the hit club. This uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass five years. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was tired. I, I give it to you. Yeah. Bing. <gasps> I like a portobello. <laughs> I have a portobello. You know, Madonna have a portobello. Okay. Oh, Zed. Zed is a dead baby. Zed is a dead. No, I don't like when you sound like that, mongoloid. <laughs> yeah, mongoloid. Don't make the mongoloid voice. Are, are we done? Are we done? Okay. I'm going to call a couple of pipe-hitting nink <laughs> come poops. <laughs> <laughs> Step aside. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, you can go. Are you sure? Yeah, we're done. Okay, so I was... <laughs> <laughs> I've lost track of what movie you guys are talking about. Pulp Fiction. It was literally the whole Pulp Fiction Italian version. She was very good. That was incoherent. No, that was very good, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, which one's your wallet? The one that says a bad <laughs> motherfucker on it. <laughs> all right, you can go. All right, all right. So uh, I was fucking pissed off, and I didn't feel like dealing with his shenanigans. I was in the back seat. In the back seat. Oh, so he was driving. He was driving. I Wait, never. Wait, so Marvin, you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> So you were in the back seat, and was he leaning over with a pistol? No, <laughs> go fuck yourselves. <laughs> but he, but he did. Shoot. I accidentally blew his brains out. So he ended up shooting you in the face with his yes, with his cock rifle. I no, th- I, uh, <laughs> I thought I, st- I thought I smelled some coffee back. So, there. Um, so basically, so I was getting pissed off. I'm like, bro, let's just fucking go home, bro. Like you're pissing me off. So I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna mess with one last hooker. The cops see him talking to one of the hookers. <laughs> They light, woo, they light their lights, and he's like, fuck. So they pull us over, and woo. I got a fucking ticket for seatbelt. And these guys were such fucking clowns. We all went to contest it the same day. We all contested it at the same time, and then we all had the court date at the same fucking day because we're all going to be each other's witnesses also. Yeah. But the, it was at, uh, you know that fucking crack mall on the east end of... Um, Anjou. No, 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 fair, fair, not Fairview. Uh, you said the east end. You said the east yeah, end yeah, no, of the, the most no, no, west. west 
Uh, Place Versailles. Place Versailles. Yeah, 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 that one, that one. Yeah, okay. So garbage one. fucking mall. Yeah. And what if we were going to that court. They're like, oh, it's on this street, but they didn't type in east or west. So it brought us west. So we went on the opposite direction. We missed the court date. I ended up paying the fucking ticket. And was these guys were fucking clowns. This isn't good. So the story went nowhere. I know. I realized this. I like the Pulp Fiction stuff better. You, yeah. you, you do so, this to all the fans. I, I understand, but he, here's the thing. I started saying it, and then I'm like, I'm going to keep saying what happened. I'm going to find it. So anyways, I ended up getting a seatbelt ticket. This is a nothing story. You yeah. waste all our time. Yeah. We should have stuck with Pulp Fiction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think that one through. And so uh, he hadn't even. Yeah. It's basically what he does when he's attempting stand up. <laughs> People are like, "All right, something's gonna happen." He's so he, angry. Something's gonna happen. And he's like this. No, because <laughs> I realized there was no. Yeah, there was no punch to that yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Part of part of humor and speaking in general, just having conversations. Yeah. There's normally a goal to it. Yeah. So um, earlier today, yes. Uh, I I uh, asked Poseidon for a favor. Um, he, ah, came, yes. he came in. We we, uh, we we do show prep as we do, um, and uh, I said, "Oh, hold on, shit! There's an email. I got an email. They want me to audition for something." And um, we had some laughs because uh, I had to pretend I was uh, a guy in a hospital or something. Mm. But because I had, I saw your audition tape. I'm offended. Was, you made me watch that. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the, if you okay, if I have to recommend an acting class online, you type in Michael Kine teaches you how to act. Oh yeah, you showed me that. And, I think. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. And uh, basically, how are you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's part of your audition. <laughs> yeah, thing. that's the funniest part. It's a two-second video. I sent it to Gapes. Gapes, uh, you probably it's already have it in your hands. I wrote. I wrote the lines. Like, because uh, if you look here, uh, you could pretend you're looking there in emotion, but really you're looking at the lines. And then you look here, and you and it, these are tricks. Yeah, you yeah, do. yeah. And well, it was stuck just funny. lines on me. It looked it looked like a, an SNL bit to me. It was so funny. Yeah. And um, what was I doing? I was Leon. They were the cops were asking me. Yeah, yeah the cops were asking you. Oh, what the fuck is going on <laughs> up in this joint? And then the sexy doctor came in me. Uh. <laughs> Leon, why'd you do this? And then yeah. he replied, "He's like, why, why'd you get, do this, Leon? You gotta put your foot in your ass, Larry. No, it's you gotta I'm put your foot in that <laughs> ass, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done it like Leon. Yeah, uh, JB, why'd you why'd you do that? It's a choice I made. It's a character. <laughs> leave, choice. leave. Just tell everybody to go fuck. Just leave, leave. Sneak a rapper in there. Yeah, you spray paint in here. Larry was here. Hey, Poseidon makes me mad. Why'd you? Oh this? man, that was um, just diary. Don't, that's my thoughts. Oh, why do but, I make uh, you mad, Guido? I have a list. Yeah, but mad means something else in my life. What does it mean? Maddening. All around like me. Like crazy? Yeah, yeah, that's not true. But um, yeah, so wait, what was the. Yes, yeah, so what was I screaming at at the end? Oh, because I think like my cousin, they, uh, it was not my fault, but my cousin died in the episode. Yeah, so that was, by oh, the way, yeah, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know if the script was actually good. Whatever I heard you guys say was incoherent. No, no, here's one. the thing the script was good, but some of the stuff. If you ever watch this show, Transplant, and they, you know, hire me. <laughs> What I learned officially from you guys acting, neither of you actually <laughs> know how to speak English properly. No. That's fine. No. We speak... Um, Christopher Walken, neither. Oh, no, he does. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the funniest Christopher Walken story, and everybody in the world saw that uh, you reaching for us to maybe try to do a Christopher Walken impression. <laughs> Um, he saw his face. He's, yeah. his he face. was so excited. It, it's like, and then he thought, he's like, wait a minute, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... It, it happened that um, one guy, Christopher Walken, gets into a bar fight. Uh -oh. And uh, as he gets knocked down, falls over, uh, a guy goes up to him and says, Hey, um, I'm an actor. Can I give you my headshot? Oh. <laughs> and Christopher Walken says, What's your name? Sean? Sean's your name? All right, do me a favor. Come here. I want you to walk across the street and keep walking. I'll beat the shit out of you. It was, just, <laughs> it was just in a perfect Christopher Walken impression. Yeah, you hear Jay yeah. Moore do that. It's gold. Love How that. does he do? I can never make an impression of Christopher Walken. You can't make a good impression. You can't make an impression yeah. of Poseidon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're used to making bad impressions. Do you know yeah. that Dolly Parton and uh, Charlie Chaplin both came Are in the same person? Second place of a Dolly Parton lookalike contest. And... Uh, and, and Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, Charlie like Chaplin a, was trying to look yeah, like Yeah, he was not I fucked up <laughs> in what I was saying. Wait, what? But hold on, hold on. My so point is, Charlie Chaplin came in second place of a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest. And, and Dolly Parton also lost 
a Dolly Parton lookalike contest. Really? Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. yeah. Who won first, Hitler? That well, that maybe. you know what? That sounded way better in my head. <laughs> like many things do. Yes. Yeah, he just wanted to <laughs> implicate his hero oh, in, 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 into the on. show. <laughs> in the Navy. <laughs> hey, I didn't know they wrapped um, the new Indiana Jones movie. Did you know that? What? I didn't even know they were doing one. Yeah. They, it's With shot Chris Pratt? In, in, no, no, no. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford? Shot how old is that? Like 88? In, pff, maybe more. But uh, it, they actually wrapped. The stunts can't be believable anymore. But yeah, they exactly. Did it. And I don't think Steven Spielberg directed it, but he definitely produced it with George Lucas. But uh, there's a whole like Indiana Jones movie coming out like now. I but had no idea. Was, I had no idea either. There was a. I, I saw this video online. And the reason I said that is just to, before your video is because you said whatever you said made me think of Berlin. Then I went to Berlin and I remember going uh, uh, and seeing that plaza where they burned the books, where they did yeah. the, uh, where he gets Hitler's autograph. And that made me laugh. And then you said something that made me think of something else. And that's. You both were just sitting there thinking about Hitler, really. Thinking about Hitler. Yeah, thinking about Hitler, our yeah. grand hero. So just another there day. <laughs> another day in the intellectual's <laughs> office. Yeah, yeah. There is a season. There is a movie, something like with a, with a patriot. It's. it's um, Schindler's List. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a movie about uh, the Americans, you know, going deeper into Indian territory and Gandhi. Uh, conquering. Which Indian? Uh, Native American uh, territory and oh. conquering the natives and everything. Geronimo. So why are you saying, why don't you say Native? Why are you saying Indian? I don't know why I said that. Anyways. I know why. So, so Native American. Because cigarettes. Well, because in French we say Anzin. I'm at Anzin. I'm at Anzin. I'm at Anzin. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Sorry. I thought they say Métis. Really? That's the correct term now? I don't know. But well, I, you, I read you, online that it's in, that it's uh, offensive. I still say retard. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> You're asking the wrong <laughs> person true. who's politically correct. Yeah. Well, to be honest, you know what? I don't give a fuck what politically correct It is. comes from retardé in en français. Yeah. So That's not where native comes from. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to this. Doesn't even so make any sense. There was a movie. So Avatar apparently was completely ripped off of... Pocahontas. No. Yes, it was. What? A hundred percent. Everyone knows this. No, there was another one with with um, it was a patriotic movie, bro. It was about a guy that he had leg problems and they sent him behind enemy lines. Do the right thing. Oh, no, yeah. fuck, fuck. What's the, tell me a patriotic oh, movie, bro? She's my, all that. My left foot. She's all that. Fuck. It's she's Tyler all that. Tyler Perry's no. Medea's Christmas. No. Oh, fuck. That might be. No. It. But it was Pocahontas. You know that, right? It was. Are you fucking with me? Or you, you know, no, I thought Avatar cause, and Pocahontas. Cause legit, white yeah, man yeah. came. To mm -hmm. another land. He fell in love with one of the people that lived in those lands, even yeah. though his people were doing war. It's Pocahontas, but with, with uh, cybernetic shit. Are you going to Cybernetic shit and uh, handicap. Well, there's always handicap. Handicap. Are you, well, are no, you the, the blonde guy is in handicap. Where, where? In Pocahontas. He has a speech impediment. He does? Yeah. He, the whole, literally the whole movie. He speaks like this. Oh, hello, hello. I'm all here for you. <laughs> put on, put on, uh, Go fuck put on Iron Maiden, a run to the oh, hills. Bro, hold on. I saw something the other day that made me laugh so hard. I Peaky think I Blinders. Like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Guiz. Don't apologize. Hold my hand. Oh. And now we're like Thelma and Louise. Let's go off the cliff. <laughs> so there was, there, bro, there was a video. And it's this lady, like, you know those vloggers? Lady. You know those vloggers from the U.S.? And they speak very, like, proper. And they're like, oh, my God, I was in Britain. That's uh, not proper at all. That's He's like a doing valley girl. Valley girl. What's uh, uh, well, they speak like that. Like, these fucking... Uh, bro, you know the way the queen speaks? <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> bro, like, these influencer whores, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's not proper. But whatever. So Fish one of them, and chips, you guys. <laughs> one of them was in the U.K. And she's like, hey, isn't... Isn't it weird how how uh, their garage is in their living room or whatever the fuck she's saying, right? Because the their house is, I don't know. Their my, my parents is. Their house is. Isn't it weird that these people have fucked up teeth? <laughs> but that it Why cuts. does anyone speak English here? It's called England. <laughs> but then it cuts. Somebody grabbed that clip and cut it. This was on TikTok. and cut it. And it shows up to like, you know, donkey from yeah. Shrek. <laughs> but with fucked up teeth and like British hair all the time. <laughs> And you know, isn't you know, that weird that oh, if okay. people go to school and they do they didn't practice mathematics and they get shot? Like, I don't know, just the voice, okay, bro. You so have to watch the yeah. cut. 
Bro, because it took you by so much surprise. It's it, the class system in Britain because at first it's all proper, like yeah. Prince uh, yeah, yeah. William <laughs> talking, yeah. Prince and Harry. then it becomes <laughs> like a chimney sweep, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's why it's funny. Uh, but not just that; it's also the cut. No, that's and why. The, it's funny. I don't know like why. If we were br- like, if you were born there, if this podcast was there, you'd say things like, "Oh, I fucked an or I did." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't. I didn't even understand what the fuck you just said. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Which is why uh, 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 snatch and all that. I oh, oh nicked me knickers. <laughs> what a bottles. What a bottle. Oh, exactly. What a bottle. Because <laughs> that's not not the Queen's English. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, but the best is the threads where Americans and Brits are always just ripping each other on how they speak. Bro, like these Twitter threads, bro. And people can go and go on and on, bro. It's amazing. Or like Reddit threads, eyebrow threads. <laughs> They're the best. Yeah, it's amazing. But also, it, it, it was the element of surprise that got me. It's kind of like, rem- yeah. Well, remember the community <laughs> episode with um, no. where where uh, Aziz and uh, Senor Chang goes blackface be- with the uh, Dungeons and Dragons yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. Like that was such a sudden cut and such a surprise that I was dying in the moment, but I never laughed at it again. You understand? But it was just in the moment, that first perfect. time you see it, it was perfect because the cut is so abrupt. Yeah. You're just like, oh my God, you know? <laughs> but, you know? It's almost like a jump scare in a horror movie, but with comedy. Yes! Oh my God! Love that. I love that. What do you call those? There must be a name for that shit. Jump Com- comedy jump scare? I don't know. Co- jump jump laugh. <laughs> jump laugh, yeah. Jump, there, you just jump. coined the term. Or perhaps a surprise. I, I like that. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or, or just a surprise, yeah. <laughs> Guido, I think it's dying. <coughs> yeah, we like to say Poseidon instead of. Yes. Well, not just the way you said that's so nonchalant. Because or perhaps a surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Merriam Webster. Ah, oh, shit! I think something unclogged, bro. <laughs> Extreme. He's dripping everywhere. Yeah. Extreme I'm leaking. I'm leaking. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, element of a uh, jump scare. It's element of surprise. surprise yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what else is a surprise? Or oh, uh, every <laughs> decision that has led you to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a surprise. <laughs> Wait, so uh, hold on. Poseidon is he going to be? Um, I- is he part of the audition? Since he was part of your audition tape, is he auditioning too? No, hmm. I was just feeding him lines. Yeah, he was the the reader. We but should get him to audition for small stuff. Try to get him an award, not a Razzie, which is bad. Get him like a foreign actors guild. Get him in the foreign actors. Guild. I say we do the same audition and send his take in. Yeah. You or, but they they, they sent an email to you. No, I would say it's disrespectful. To, no, something. I would love to see him win like a, a guild award, like a foreign actors guild award. What, just be like and give a speech. Look, Bollywood is full. Oh, that'll so. be fucking. Oh, uh, I would, I would just pull, uh, I would just pull uh, Joe Pesci. What, what does that mean? You would just say thank you. I'll just be like, um, thank you, and bounce. Bro, everybody knows you. If you, you know what? We should say if you, you won a Foreign Actors Guild award, bro, you'd fucking go crazy. When are the porn awards? Bollywood, we, I'd we go up there and start. The I'd be like, awards. thank you. The, the porn awards. Yeah, we should send you to the porn awards. Why? Okay, you wouldn't go. Oh. Actually, yes, I would. Yeah, yeah. And I, I would, um, you know, do some research over there. Yeah. <laughs> I love this uh, I'm a serious journalist. <laughs> yes, uh, serious journalism happening. You know? Do you think he could actually win? And Be honest, you've been around a lot. Can he win a, an acting award? Look, I heard my voice today, honestly. Uh, pff, no. You didn't like it. I, I really, could, I could, really. Let's d- pretend. Let's pretend that he 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 does a movie half English, half French. Wins an, Poseidon right now. You just won an award. You won an award at the Foreign Actors Guild. You're coming up on stage, and it's an international crowd: English, French, some Germans, uh, and you're giving a speech thanking them for you're the breakout artist of the year. All right, so we got to do the uh, yeah. the the presentation, and then <clears> the uh, I'm on them right names. now. Okay, okay. The okay, Foreign uh, Actors Guild presents Poseidon. Oh yeah, let's give him applause first. Yeah. Accept all. Whatever the fuck it is. Hindana Hujaba Hundi Bindabana. What is this? Don't bro. Poseidon, you have uh you're the Foreign Actors Guild. I would like to simultaneously apologize and thank everyone. Uh apologize to everyone and thank everyone. That's 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 it. 
Powerful, powerful statement. That's fantastic. From, you from wanted to simultaneously apologize to everyone for winning this and thank everyone. Powerful, powerful statement by yes. this year's. I'm F- very sorry for what you witnessed. You know, having to watch all that shit. This year's. I'm very F-A-G sorry to all the real yeah. talent. We gotta make you. Yeah. Gotta, this year's. I'm very F-A-G sorry to all the real talent. Is, uh, a man of very few words. The no. the F A G thanks him. Yeah. Uh, the Film <laughs> Actors Guild. <laughs> The Film Actors Guild. It's funny because it's the, it's the funny. fag. Did you <laughs> yes, it is. That's very funny. It's very clever. I like Nobody that. cares about award shows anymore. That yeah, sucks. no, obviously. I love award uh, shows. But I, I never understood award shows. I never watched them. I always found them to be ridiculous. First of all, I, I think I found out about award shows like when I was an adult. I didn't even know about them up until like adulthood. I have never been handed an award my entire life. I think. That's a lie. Not me. I've been handed many awards. I have. I have been handed an award, one that I did not want. I don't don't want any awards. Your mother forced you to take an award. Yeah, exactly. That's not the same thing. And I was crying. Stole an award. No, 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 no. She stole an award. Your mom pulled the Will Smith. Some kid won best soccer player. Your mom went and slapped him. Yeah, (laughs) my baby's (laughs) offended. Exactly. (laughs) But but she misunderstood. She misunderstood because I wanted the trophy. In Greek, I was just crying because I lost. Your mother said, "I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish." Yes. (laughs) But my boy Poseidon gave the best rim jobs of all time. (laughs) Do people in Montreal say rims or mags? By the way, so uh, they say mags for rims, which is retarded, and they say rims. uh, Yeah, they're all fucking up with that. They reverse it. It's rims. Rims are with the spokes, and mags are the steel mags. But they say people in Montreal say it the opposite way, and it pisses me the fuck off. I don't know why. I don't even know what's right. Do you know why? Because in French they go le mag. Exactly. Because it's a, a le mag in French. Oh, what I say is a metal tire holder and people understand. Exactly. We you know also what? We we say terrace here for patio. Yeah. The terrace. The terrace wins. What, what was I going to say? I was going to say. I don't negotiate with terrace. Yeah. So uh, Will Smith has been having a, a fucking uh, freak out, like meltdown. Publicly, basically. What, was, what happened wife. after that slap? It's done? His wife abused him. His wife abused him. She, uh, She's still bald? She pegged him. Um, You're talking about the latest video, eh? Yeah. Is she, yeah what happened awkward. in the latest video? She uh, she pegged him. She yeah. literally... She released She released a video of her pegging him. Almost. It, it is... Yeah. It is, uh, it is, is a cuck? Yeah. Okay. And uh, she came out saying how she never wanted to marry Will Smith in 1996, and that basically after the marriage, like, she was crying... That she married him. She never wanted to marry him. Which begs the question, like, why did you marry him then? Like, why are you saying that? Nobody. Yeah, first of all, why are you saying that? Now all these Really, this is true? I'm second, even, second, wow. why did you marry him? Nobody forced her. Well, you don't know that. Well, 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 but hold on. Who would force that? That's so strange. Did she have a beautiful, rich lifestyle the last 10, 15 years of her life? 20 years? I think. So I think that's fine. I think. You want to see the latest? Uh, ah, yes, this is the poor, poor Willie. The poor, poor Willie style. I feel bad for him, bro. Uh, you shouldn't, though. Yeah, this guy. Um, I is, shouldn't, but I fine. do. He's fine. He's fine. You know, Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say, don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film me. Stare, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, no, she, yeah, because she don't just. just Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Please watch a stare. At the red table because oh, she's, she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? Yeah, yeah a lot. It looks like the day after her 37th. Wow. I, I'm, um, why are they still together? I'm upset. He, bro, said, I can't he said he came from a broken home and he doesn't want a divorce. He doesn't want his kids. This is a public sorry. meltdown sorry. here. Um, this girl, she, first of all, she said red table. She didn't. She meant red carpet. No, no. Red table is her show. Oh. Here's, show here's the thing. Facebook. Here's the thing. I know. He didn't want to be filmed there. No, of course not. He's the guy yeah. who's about to cry. He's holding his arm. Isn't he that, looks like a kid that gets abused. Isn't even that though, the other yeah. the other side of his life? Like, isn't that his I, partner I, I, in life and yeah. woman that's supposed to love I w- him? I would just like to say something, though. I, I have known many uh, couples who have divorced. Many men. 
uh, and still many, 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 many wish death on me. Which, by the way, I was listening to um, oh, so Twenty One Savages' uh, new album that came out in twenty twenty. He's easy to distract this pumpkin. Uh, what's the, what's he's trying name? to keep uh, old school and, and he's stuck savage. There. That's that's what's happening. Savage time two or some shit. So he um oh, and he's witnessed a lot. He said in his life, and he doesn't want to take the easy way out and get divorced. Yes. For the kids, he's trying. The problem is, this bitch is throwing a lot. I mean, a lot of obstacles in front of him. Yeah. By banging her, his son's friends, by banging his friends, by going around saying, I cried the day of my wedding, I didn't want to marry this guy, uh, all that shit. So when he slapped Chris Rock, the real person he wanted to slap was her? I've said this many times. Probably. Oh. But here's the thing. I will say this. I think... Oh, now I feel bad for him. Yeah, that's what happened. I think, I think that... You got the wrong headphones, but it's okay. Uh, I think that... You can still have a full home, a home that isn't broken, I would say, no or a family home. that isn't broken, even full though you home. divorce uh, the woman. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You can still be amicable. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you. And you can still raise your children the right way and everything tell me and still that. provide for them. You know what I mean? Tell him that. No, no, I understand. Because now what the hell that's is Jazzy situation. Jeff doing? What's his job? Where is Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff? Jeff's Hold only on. job is to explain this to Will. That situation, in my opinion, is more broken than a divorced family. Yeah. That is way more. Like, imagine your children seeing this. Bro, like, that must fuck them well, up. Well, I mean, she's fucking her kids' friends, so they got other problems. Yeah, no, obviously. But, I mean, like, still, you know, yeah. there's there's a limit. Body language expert would be all over that. Yeah, dude, the way he's holding yeah, it. I felt yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, he's literally holding kid, himself. Bro, he's like yeah. a scorned child, bro. Poor guy, but bro. But he's scared to I even tell her turn off that camera. I yeah. wanted to smack him on site for what he did to one of our legends, Chris Rock. But then when I saw that video, I legitimately felt zero uh, anger towards him. I, I, I felt sadness. I, I, I actually felt bad for him, and I want to help him. I <sighs> never thought I'd feel bad for a multimillionaire. No, but it's so life. true. Like Plus, that, as a I big saw him vulnerable there. As a big Tupac fan that I am, uh, it kind of sucks to see this because now I know that Tupac suffered in his life towards the end, uh, even before he got shot. Oh, Tupac went out with her? You Mm -hmm. you remember his Machiavelli album? I remember uh, she was in a movie called Set It Off with her and Queen Latifah. Uh, That's why he changed his name to uh, Machiavelli. Maybe this bitch won't know. Yeah, he faked his death to get away from her. (laughs) I'm calling for Tupac. (laughs) No, there's Machiavelli here, bitch. (laughs) Oh, ain't, ain't no park around. Yeah. yeah. By the way, his uh, Tupac's car, the one that he got shot in, got rebuilt with the bullets in. So they still have the bullet holes, and it's selling for like a crazy amount. I went to that. The uh, uh, BMW 7 Series in 1996, 1997, some shit like that. 1995, I think. Okay, on, on uh, this you would love. Um, oh, boy. It's Wilshire Boulevard, maybe La Brea, maybe Fairfax. Uh, that's where the old school uh, museum is, the car museum in L.A. Los Angeles. And, and oh. uh, a big shooting happened outside. I think that's where who got shot outside? Who got shot outside? Was it Biggie? Well, I mean, who shot Who first? got shot in L.A. that's not Tupac? Biggie. He got Biggie, shot Biggie, out. Okay. He got shot in L.A. too? Yeah. I thought he, it was he, he got shot outside that. He got shot outside of a convenience outside store. Outside that car museum. Really? Get some hoagies. And in that car museum, you'll see uh, Elvis's Cadillac with bullet hole. In the steering wheel because he would get mad and say, this car ain't no good. And sh- <laughs> he shot oh. And you see a lot of cool cars like that there. Really? Yeah. Do you know who Elvis Presley is? Besides yes, him? he was the king of rock, as they say. And what about the, l- the Latino guy, Elvis? Elvis was the king of rock. El- if by king of rock, you mean Crack. king of stealing uh, black people's music. There you go. I heard he <laughs> stole a lot of <laughs> yeah. black little, folk music. L- little Richard. You know what I noticed about comedy? Uh it's funny. Did you know? Obviously, but did you notice the 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 the, the, the like the jazz in music in the music industry? Like don't the jazz say it like boom? a white guy, bro. It's pronounced yaz. <laughs> the jazz, boom. yaz, bro. The the yaz boom, <laughs> the yaz boom. Yeah, when the yaz boom. Uh, yeah. Did you notice about twenty years later the 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 style and comedy kind of follows music? Yaz. A bit. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> What are you talking about, you dickhead? Like, because I'm talking about, like, you remember the, the hip-hop boom in the 90s and early 2000s? And now, like, 20 years later, Schultz is kind of bringing hip-hop to comedy. So then it has nothing to do. It doesn't follow music. And Schultz is not bringing Well, it doesn't hip- follow music. Schultz is not bringing hip-hop That's to comedy. That's the last guy. No, 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 no. Dumb, not not in the sense. Hold on, hold on. Not in the sense like he's bringing hippity-hop to comedy. Dave Mahesh is more hip-hop comedy yeah. than Who's that Dave Mahesh? 
They, well, no, uh, Andrew Schultz is a little hip hop. Yeah, as it's soon pretty, as I see him, if I saw his picture, the first thing I'd think of the way he dresses is hip hop. It's not hip hop. The way he dresses, he's just, the way he talks is a hip hop. No, he has it's New York. He has eubonics. Yeah, New York. It's not hip hop. Oh. You're mixing things. But up physically, he looks like my accountant. Too much. Yeah, exactly. You think <laughs> just because the guy says yo, you're like, <laughs> man, this guy's a rapper. <laughs> Yo, no, catch a case. if you listen to his podcast, yo, no much? cap, no cap. How much for one rib, <laughs> dude? Poseidon's gonna get himself in a weird racial situation <laughs> one day. Let's go to a really black restaurant and have Poseidon talk. Yeah, let's go. Hey, to yo, like yo, a- yo, I want the grits, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he does talk like that. He no, says he all cap, no, no cap. No, that's different. That's a uh, that's a term used right now. But he doesn't you in your because he speaks like a New Yorker in your head you think he's pretending to be black he's not no no I know you, he's not pretending you to hear be black it like a black guy because you oh, no, no 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 no, no 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 hold on I know he's not pretending to be black I'm not retarded bro uh, he both that's it, arguable he, he made it sound like he was hanging out with Marcellus Wallace's <laughs> yeah. crew yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what no, but he's a New like Yorker and you know, pop New York, every, every New but, Yorker <laughs> no but New York the way they speak has a lot of hip hop in Governor it because Cuomo, of the culture in your in your so he's automatically gonna sound more like hip hop. So what about the other? And he had a podcast with Charlemagne the God, which was heavily involved in hip hop. Wait, what do you know about? Because of what you just said, what do you know about Charlemagne the God? He he's a podcaster also. No, 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 no. Do they eat at the same restaurant? I I don't know much. I just know he was a rapper. Charlemagne the God is not a rapper. No, he wasn't a rapper. Or he interviewed rappers. He was heavily like a rap enthusiast. (laughs) Yeah, every black guy this guy sees on the radio is like this guy's a rapper, right? No, obviously not, bro. But. I don't look honestly. I don't know much about him, but I know he's involved with the rap community. I see him interviewing rap stars all the time. You know what I mean? I see him. So like, I'm not like I could put two and two together, bro. Wait. Don't know much about his story. <laughs> <laughs> don't know much of biology. Ah, <laughs> uh, Schultz breaking hip hop. That's so funny. How he's making him feel I, more hip hop. I, I can't wait till Chris Rock gets involved no, in stand up. I think I think uh, no, I disagree with you guys. I think he's making <laughs> it feel a little. I I, I think he's making it feel kind of like kind of like the Kings of Comedy made it feel very like they made comedy feel very like jazz. How could you say the Kings how, of Comedy were jazz? How could so you? They weren't yeah, hip hop. He's hip hop. The suits, the suits. So the Def Jam comedy tour that was what that was. Uh, how uh, can you? I never, how I never that was heavy metal. How can you manage to be racist without saying that? <laughs> I'm not being racist. <laughs> yes, you are. It's amazing. How am I being racist? <laughs> it's so good. How am I being racist? Yeah, yo, you're not. Right it's just, it's you're a safe space. Don't worry. <laughs> Bro. But hold on. Okay. How am I being racist? It's okay. You made it sound like Schultz was hanging out at the DMV. <laughs> no, bro. Yeah. What? I'm saying like. What does you, the DMV have to do with because this? Because you, you, you associated him talking blackness. Yeah. With he doesn't talk black. He but talks that's what you were saying. Yeah, but New said. York, the New York accent is heavily influenced by hip hop N- artists. Uh, actually, no. The New York accent is heavily influenced by uh, Italian Irish immigrants. Um, I don't. Yeah. No, the modern one. The modern day. Uh, what are you talking the about? The modern one. Not yes, the no one about what slavery. Yeah, <laughs> No idea what he say. Let's go eat some of them watermelon. Yeah. New York That's didn't speak up until hip hop. Up until 1991, people in New York had no accent. No, they did have an accent, but they had the, the, the <laughs> fucking uh, Italian wop, motherfucker. The fucking, the I'm from New York. Yeah. Hey. You know what I mean? That's good. But I think it, it, it kind of made like a shift to more hippity hop. Oh, you want to hear a hippity hoppity accent that you like in New York? You know That's who it. really brought it in? Uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Hey, that's right. Andrew Dice Clay. Uh, by your logic, yeah. he brought... <laughs> <laughs> He's Al Sharpton. <laughs> by your logic? <laughs> uh, by, and he brought a big Madison Square Garden. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> by your logic... No, but he was back at the... He, I but feel but like... No, no, hold on. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay was more rock and roll. No, I no. Like. By your logic, Andrew Dice Clay yeah. is Jesse Jackson. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to hear... you, bu- If you want to hear vernacular of someone, that guy's vernacular. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Dice is very funny to follow on Instagram, by the way. Mm. Yeah. To segue. Uh, what about a real New Yorker that grew up and was born in like Staten Island? 50 Cent. What about, no, I mean comedy. What about Pete Davidson? He's is a New he Yorker, bringing hip hop yeah. back? Yeah. He's got he's got the whole hip hop culture, the tattoos and shit. That, yeah, the well, look. I, the only people that get tattooed are hip hop guys. No, no, but the look. Kanye West no, but the look. Guy? The look of he a tired white guy. man. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Who, who's right in that fight? Uh, nobody, bro. We'll get the divorce to get over it. 
But he's smashing the guy's uh, mother of his kids and putting it all over the internet. And well, she is actually. She is. It's not his fault. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But uh, Pete Davidson did rub who's some more, salt. Who's apparently. more hip hop, Pete Davidson or Kanye West? Good. Okay, question. obviously Kanye West because he's a hip hop artist. But where's Kanye West from? Uh, I don't. I don't Chi-town. know. Town. I don't know. Because because he's from Chicago. Yeah. Uh, Chi Town. Yeah. Everyone's shy over there. Yeah, he's no, but Chicago. I mean, uh, so, Pete uh, Davidson but, but is hardcore. Born explains why he covers his face. York, yeah, so by your logic, the the hippity hoppity guy is Pete Davidson because the other guy's from Chicago. So already, no, I'm just talking about comedy. No right contest. Now. No, no, no. I'm talking about just comedy right yeah, now. I'm comedy. not talking. Yeah, he's a comedian. Pete Davidson. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But him too, he brings a little bit of hip hop in it. I find. What is his hip hop? What do you mean by hip hop? Like, it's just people living in the modern age. And you keep quantifying that as hip hop. Well, because yeah, right. well, yeah. hip hop is is the the dominant culture right now. But for who? It's like for most of North America. But that's so vague. Yeah, that's Every, very vague. The dominant culture, like in, in what sense? You they dress like black in people. In the way they dress, in the way they, you know. But, how, but I'll give an example. No, like the style. It's culture. very like you know sneakers. Sneakers, dude. De- uh, uh, um, like the way I dress right now. Tennis players wear sneakers. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, my, my yeah, no, they wear right tennis now. shoes. No, they they wear sneakers for sneakers. Yeah, they wear they wear like these shoes. No, look, you see my shoes? Yeah. What are my shoes? They're that bro. Sneakers. That's world star hip hop right so there. So hold on a second. What am I right now? Just for real, this culture that I'm wearing. I wear urban hip hop. Really? Because I'm yeah. gonna tell you something. You're wrong. Jeans. Uh, really? Sneakers. Because I'll show you a documentary. You're wrong. It's a uh, it's a uh, thrash metal, and I even have the white shoes to prove it. And really? Yeah. And because because uh, your pants are not loose on the on the ankle, this is how thrash metal people in in uh, the early '80s would dress. Should, should okay, I, I didn't know that. Should oh, because that's what I'm saying. That's why you okay. cannot okay. talk about what's dominating the culture and who's part. Of what okay, culture. but okay, I don't know. But this is why we have conversations. I know. That's what we're doing. That's what yeah, we're yeah, conversating. No, no, I know. You. Would you pull him over? Yeah, I still get pulled yes. over <laughs> when I pop the hoodie. In. Yeah, but this is how Mustaine dressed too. It's the tight jeans. Um, you know, here. Well, on your the jeans calves. aren't that tight. They are on the they're, they're like straight. Yeah, he For was jeans. looking at your ass. <laughs> For jeans, these are tight. Normally, they're, they're baggy, like the hip hop pants. I was quick. I like that. They're baggy. The hip hop pants that you're talking about. They're on the on the on the ankle. Not the baggy. recent ones. On the, but that's Thrash Mouth has been doing that from before. Ooh, so yeah, who's style okay. I see, I see. I'm from the nineties. But then again, who's, I can uh, tell you this. Sneakers, jeans, yeah. When I was in high school, uh the jeans there but was Thrash two types. Metal guys never wore Air Jordans, bro. If, or uh, Air Force Ones. If if you wore <sighs> loose jeans in the nineties, there was like um there was the boot cut where they were tight, but you would have them loose like, almost like a bell bottom for your like uh cowboy boots. And then there was the loose ones, like uh, hip hop style, and then they became dad jeans. No, but those were loose all around, like from yeah. the waist down. Yeah, yeah, like an elephant's. Yeah, yeah. and they would, and they would, uh, they would, they took pride in in um, what do you call this action of uh, steaming? No, what's the fucking thing, bro? What, what you don't do ironing? Ironing, yeah, they would iron them to make them like perfect. I love ironing. Yeah, you it's, do. It's soothing. It is. Yes, I hate it. I Silent? enjoy it. Am I dressed like an urbanite, like you said, or, oh. or am I more dressed like them? You're more dressed like them, actually. Oh. <laughs> I like how he's wearing the Back to the Future Marty McFly high mm. tops. Yeah, <laughs> high, uh, h- but high tops uh, are only no, no, no. That's just that's that's, that's hippity hoppity. <laughs> that's uh. hip hop to you. Yeah. Hilarious! I'll, I'm telling you, there's there's a lot of stuff you, you you could look into. You'd be amazed. Besides, yeah, it. yeah, it's not just what's in front of you. God damn! Yeah, everything's yeah, wild. Influ- yeah, just like Elvis. Elvis, they thought it was like oh what music. He was super influenced by black people. Yeah, and apparently stole a lot. Led Zeppelin did the same thing. Led Zeppelin stole a shit ton from from really? actual yeah jazz musicians. Yeah, man, you gotta go the, to the core. Jimi yeah. Hendrix was uh, apparently legendary, and a lot of people stole from him. Well, no, Jimi he, Hendrix. You just was, wanted yeah. to name a black guy. Yeah, yeah, Jimi Hendrix was. Uh, super public. He was super famous. He yeah. did his own thing. Okay, what about okay. the black people that were stolen from? You don't even hear their names. That's really? the problem. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, Bye. I think Jimi Hendrix's family still owns all his money and shit. So they're doing pretty good. good. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. good. I like. I like hearing shit like that. You know who lost? I don't like uh, these uh, poisonous, venomous labels. Fucking leeching. You know who lost all of Elvis' your rap money? Community yeah. friends. No, no. Off of uh, art, just artists in general. Oh man, there was um, uh, Sly and the Family Stone. He he was living in a RV till he died. Yeah. Who? Sly and the Family Stone. I have no idea who this is. Big music. Big music. Just uh, he was living really? in an RV just to brag. No, literally lost all his money. But uh, uh, um, Lisa Marie Presley lost uh, the Elvis money. 
How? Um, a really, 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 really good salesman <laughs> convinced her that instead of making $25 million doing nothing. Speaking about losing uh, their money, these artists. Yeah. You know what some artists have lost in the past? What? Their goddamn fucking minds. And this week's top five and a half. So that's loud. I, I think I've been trying for the segue for 45 minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this week's top five and a half times people lost their minds live on television. Yes. I'm doing it now. I'm it's not that it's not as easy yeah, to segue into it. By the way, by the way, uh so Kevin Hart, are you saying Kevin Hart is less hippity hoppity? No. Oh. He right. has taken Sist. multiple styles, right. I Sist. feel like. Racist. Si- no, I like Race Siden. Race Siden is a cool Hold guy. on, hold on. Ray I'm not racist. Siden. I'm just Ray saying Siden. I'm just saying trends like comedy evolves, right? Stop stealing from the black man. Oh my god. Remember oh what he said, god. people <laughs> close to close. Yes, close to close. <laughs> close to close so you can rob the black people. Um, let's see here. Charlie Sheen, Estevez. Just say Charlie Sheen. Yeah, I don't know why I, you added that. I, I added Estevez because I want his father to be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> because his real last name is Estevez. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. Martin Sheen's son. Oh, um, Charlie Sheen, uh, we don't have to really go into too much detail. No, you, you know can him as Tiger Blood. Uh, I remember that. Winning. But he capitalized on Winning. it. Winning. Yeah, he capitalized on it at least. He got, what was his payday after he went on this meltdown on TV? Yeah, but uh, he was next level, like, coked the fuck out. Basically, you what he was tell. doing was not admitting to his addictions. And um, he was just. Well, while showing how addicted he was. He also right. didn't admit to having AIDS and then banged <clears throat> all Correct. People. He was at the time literally paying off uh, people, uh, you know, who threatened him to go public with his uh, AIDS. AIDS. Uh, Damn, I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't remember that. If you knew, you wouldn't have fucked him. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good lord. But he ended up. Um, whatever that stupid anger management show was, it gave him the like he, million dollars an episode for. Uh, anyway, Yo, wasn't he on Three and a Half Men? Yeah, yeah two and a half men. He, yeah. he was on that show. What? Two and a half men. But by the end, by the end I'll of break that, your um, fucking legs right now. Whoa. By the end of that show, he was getting a million dollars an episode. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was getting insane money. Would, he was getting shit. that black money. The guy showing up. What? <laughs> that's what black people make. A million dollars an episode? Yeah. That's Ask impressive. Cedric the Entertainer. Um, Let's go buy some shoe polish. That is... Jesus Christ. You know we don't like political humor here. <laughs> you sound like our prime minister. <laughs> it explains why they have so much money. <laughs> whole new world <laughs> um but so so charlie sheen um who was it was it entertainment tonight who the hell was he talking who to cares, who bro? cares bro he was dip out shit. of his Shut mind up. yeah he was out of his mind coked out of and his he, mind he went on a, a comedy tour uh basically Wait, off of he's a comedian ce- no, no off of oh. celebrityness yeah uh just I went see. town to town with jeff ross who wrote everything for him because he felt bad and he, um, he just uh he just kept just coming talk, up with different yeah. ways on stage of how to start a business yeah Okay, um, yeah, and he went nuts. Uh, that one was good. That one was okay. I don't know. Is he sober now, Charlie Sheen? He's How the fuck should I know? I haven't hung out with him in like months. Wait, what? Mind your business. <laughs> yeah, he filmed uh, the Arrival here. Oh, he filmed it? No, he, not the Arrival. No, another movie. The Arrival is an alien movie with a handy cam. I don't know. He he got fucked up in Montreal a lot. <laughs> I like Major League. Uh, I uh, believe it. The Montreal's best Charlie Sheen city, movie buddy. is uh, Major League uh, about baseball. Uh, great, stupid movie. Hassan, you ever heard of baseball? Uh, I have, yes. Very boring sport. Have you ever heard of and hot Jackie shots. Robinson? Is that the guy that murdered dudes at the yeah. club? That's Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, Montreal yeah. made him famous, Jackie Robinson. Never mind. I was thinking of another person. I was thinking of a Netflix documentary. You're thinking of uh, Mac Jay Robinson Simpson. from uh, Night Court? Sorry, you're thinking of Edward G. Robinson? No, the, this guy was a from, he was a Hispanic baseball player, and he he killed like two people outside of a club. No, have you ever heard of Eduard Eduard Cesorhen? Eduard Cesorhen? I have not. No, you yeah. know Eduard Cesorhen? Uh, he was a moil. He was a moil. What the Edu- fuck is yes, a moil? Yes, he was a moil. Eduard Cesorhen, and he was um with what's your name, bro? Like, uh, like one of those animals Wa- that uh, Winona. That he yeah, ants. with Winona. But what, what's the guy who Tim Burton? He's friends with uh, Tim, Tim Burton. Burton. Yeah. 
Oh, the dude that makes the skeleton mo- uh, movies. He does make all the skeleton. Yeah. Uh, I- 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 what was his name? Eduardo. Eduardo Cesarhan. Yeah, Cesarhan. Cesarhan. Yeah. Eduardo Cesarhan. What a name, eh? Eduardo Cesarhan. God damn, that's powerful. Cesarhan. His uncle Hefredi Hecrogar. You know what yeah. this reminds me of? It reminds me of the trailer you showed me with um, what's his face, the guy that was in the mummy. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Bedazzled. Yeah. Oh, you see that bedazzled. Movie? oh, with uh, what's her name? The the British chick, yeah, Elizabeth Hurley. Can I see her about fucking Elizabeth Hurley? Best. Yeah, she was hot. I follow shit. her on Instagram. She still looks amazing. She is still stunning. She's like 55 years old. God really? damn, she's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. A movie called Bedazzled, directed yes. by uh, Harold. She was Ramos. the devil, yes. Not to be confused with Vajazzled. Yeah, very good movie. Vajazzled. Stupid Bedazzled movie. You remember Vajazzling? Vaja- what's oh, Vajazzling? That was when chicks would uh, clean their, like, there would be a bear pussy, and they would put, uh, like, Swarovski crystals, stick it on there. So there would be, instead of pubes on top, it would be crystals. Like Jess Surreal. Vajazzled. You never heard of Vajazzling? No. Oh. There's no way this was a real thing. It still is a thing. Google it, Vajazzling. Yeah, get your girlfriend a, a thing, like, a whatever, to, to, to do it on her. It, Very it, sharp. You know how they, remember, like, um, how they would stick, like, di- it's real diamonds, Swarovski crystals. You put on your on on top like that. Swarovski. Yeah, you you pull off her panties and it's just shiny. I feel like I shouldn't Google this. I feel like this is like some kind of blue waffle type of situation. No, I've no, never. Vajazzle. I cannot believe. Bro, when it comes to vaginas, Pandel's knows. Episode. I there was um. Vagina soap once. Yeah, Jennifer oh Lafeu did. Correct. It. Yeah, actresses were doing it. Vagina yeah. soap. Um. Weird. Why would you do this? Speaking of uh, speaking pretty, of bro. looking fantastic, uh, Elizabeth Hurley, uh, as hot as her, um, we saw our our num- number four uh, on our list. Poseidon. Poseidon. Uh, he's distracted. He's looking, at, he's looking at diamond. I was looking at yes. Yeah. I was looking at speaking diamond. Speaking of uh, number four, Poseidon. What's number four. On the list? Ah, number quattro. Somebody uh, who she, I wouldn't be surprised if she did get a jazz she, she she was hot as shit a couple yes, of weeks she ago. Still is. Oh, Britney Spears, yeah. definitely a vajazzle candidate. So not she not as sexy as Ari Spears. Ari Spears. All right. Um. Yeah, she had a fucking meltdown and a half. Oh yeah, on, I, one uh, of the worst TV, public yeah. melt. No, it wasn't on live TV, but it, she still. Oh, had, public. Yeah. She still had. Was, one of we were, like, I just realized doing that to the mic. I'm sorry. It was I, the beginning of like TMZ. It was the beginning of videos from. And and they caught her outside a convenience store gas station. Uh, she had uh, first she went into a barber shop to shave her head yeah. because somebody told her that they uh, she was going to lose her kids and they check your blood alcohol and shit from your hair. So she's like, oh my god, I'm scared. So she shaved her. Is head that why she shaved her head? I yeah. never knew why. Yeah. I thought it was a style choice. No, no, no. It was literally for that. Was this before or after she flashed her vagina? I remember after. that too. She didn't flash her vagina. Paparazzi, Paparazzi stuck Paparazzi, a camera yeah, yeah, yeah. up her skirt. Well, uh, she was not wearing no, underwear. She, she was wearing getting out of limo. And yeah. the, the angle. She was getting out of a limo. Let's just say they caught the right angle. They got yeah. lucky. Isn't with there that a one. way that you're supposed to, if you're not wearing panties and you're getting out of a car and there's cameras, aren't you supposed to, like, a certain way so you don't spread your legs? I think she did it properly because we're talking about her 20 years later, aren't we? Oh, ah, yeah. hey. So, um,. She shaved her head and had a meltdown with uh, paparazzi in her face, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she was smashing um, an umbrella car? or some shit. I think the photographer's car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She also smashed a guy named Jason Alexander. Luckiest smash in the world. And it wasn't even our Jason Alexander. No, it was, it was some um, douchebag with the same name. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good uh, Tina Fey joke on uh, Weekend Update. And then there was a bunch of Britney fans that came out. There, were like, there was that famous one, leave Britney alone. That was after. That was way yeah. after. Uh, no, uh, at the I time, thought that was right after. I don't know. At the time, uh, before Kevin Federline, which is the father K-Fed. of uh, Britney's... Two kids. Two kids. Um, her and uh, Christina oh, already Aguilera has two kids. were... Already, she had them for a bro, while. They're like they're your all, age, yeah. man. Uh, uh, her and, and Christina uh-huh. Aguilera were uh, competing for who was the MTV broad or whatever the hell. And uh, Tina Fey wrote a great joke on SNL, which is what he's referring to, because um, uh, Britney Spears had a quickie wedding to a guy named Jason Alexander. Mm-hmm. And to not be out, dude, uh, the next week, Christina Aguilera, uh, Aguilera married Newman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was the guy. That's a good joke. <laughs> that was the guy. Eduardo Cesar. Yeah. How come we don't hear about him in the news? Uh, what happened Eduardo to him? Cesar, uh, what, I don't know what happened to him. How did that end? What happened to what him? What did he do? What was he famous for? 
Yeah, the water Zorian, he did, um, what's the thing called? He used the, to, you know what the Latino people do in your backyard? Like pruning, uh, landscaping? The he would uh, prune the hedges. Oh, yeah, like a pruner. No, pruner. no, 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 no. But he would make like designs like dinosaurs or... Yeah. Like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 those guys. I don't know what that's called, though. I don't know the name either. Anyway, uh, so landscaper. He, did, he did that and he and then he was... Uh, Botanist. He lived in a family's home because he, when he didn't have any money, he wasn't at home. And he was doing everyone's gardening around. He made some money. And then he said he was going to go back to his dad's house. But that didn't go well because his dad had died. Mm. And he, the house was too big for him to maintain. Old man. Yeah, he was an old man. But he, I don't know what happened. What happened? To, I, I don't remember what happened to him. I know that he was with Winona Ryder for a bit. Yeah, the Waddles. I have no idea who the fuck. And he was with Amber Heard. And she, she had abused him. Oh, she abused him too. No, but yeah. when um, fucking um, Amber Heard, bro, when, devilish fucking woman. When bro. Ryder, took a shit. Uh, Did you see the shit she took on Johnny in Johnny Depp's bed, bro? No, but I, all I know is that the Waddles' odd hands would not accept that he'd fucking he'd poke that bed like it was a water bed. No, the Waddles. I'm yeah. very confused right now. How come? Because I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. The um, Waddles' uh, Zorans. Yeah. The Waddles' uh, Zorans. Her, uh, her father's name. Um, that's why I'm stuck on a stupid Which, name. Which, Winona Ryder? <laughs> yeah, I don't the, know. Who's the your old, dad? The old, the old actor. Come on. He's Is your best. dad an actor? Yeah, he's the best. Really? Yeah, I forgot his Is name. Is it Chevy God. Chase? No, no, no. Chevy Chase is uh, her, her boyfriend's father yeah. in that movie. All right, moving on to number three. All right. Britney Spears is still hot. And this is Burt Reynolds? <laughs> no, this was live, though. This was live. And this was uh, the most famous one that we For know. For you. Oh, where where people really... Realize like, oh, he's lost his goddamn mind. Let's see. Kanye West. Really? Which live one are you talking about? It was about? when he was running for president. Do you remember this? And he came into the race late and he held a fucking, what do you call those um, events, bro, that these presidents, future presidents hold, bro? Hostage. No, 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 no. What? Training camps. No, no, no. They hold those, these fucking events, bro. Like, uh, are you talking about a rally? Sex Yeah, party. rally. He held oh. a rally. Uh, Kanye West held a fucking rally. Rally. And, and he uh, had North like a Carolina? bulletproof. Yeah. Stop it. And he was uh, wearing a bulletproof vest or some shit. Smart. And he was yelling. It was a. I almost killed my children. He was just having a complete. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you remember that? My, he was talking about abortions. Yeah, he, he was. Got, he got all his thoughts mixed up and they yeah. came out as one oh, salad. Yeah, but he was having a complete meltdown. But what's amazing losing his is mind. how many people showed up. Yeah. yeah, but bro, it was so bad. Even people from the back recording were like, "Ooh, this is this is not good." This yeah, is, but he this filled up a room. What did you think you were getting? Yeah, he yeah. filled up a room. Yeah, he filled up uh, more than a room. I would say that's great. Uh, but yeah, so that's I, another famous. Uh, that's one that we that's recent that we forget <laughs> no, about. I, I like. I one forgot one about that. You're actually signing. That's a yeah. good call. Yeah. Uh, when when um, they were doing the uh, telethon to raise money for Hurricane Katrina. George Bush doesn't give a <laughs> shit about black people. But the funniest part there was Mike, Mike Myers. Myers. <laughs> He's standing next to Mike Myers, who's not reading the teleprompter. I don't know what George Bush feels about uh, the blacks. That was uh, what? what's Mike Myers gonna do? Either. This happened on live television. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course, really? Yeah. yeah, Hurricane Katrina really it was so funny. I mean, I know, I, I mean, I remember George Bush getting a shoe thrown at him. Yeah, that oh, was and he uh, dodged it. Two shoes, and he dodged yeah, both. He, I think. Yeah. yeah, the I Iraqi awesome. shoe tosser. I remember. <laughs> I, I, I they like then it. electrocuted his testicles. When did they really? Yo, speaking of electrocuting your fucking shit. Did you know there is now a therapy of electrocuting your penis <gasps> to heal it? premature ejaculation? Heal it? What the yeah. fuck? So premature ejaculators, apparently there is a uh, shock I thought therapy. premature ejaculation, normally it's mental. Yeah, like... Um, some of it is, but some of it could be to the due to the sensitivity if, of your penis. Just think that about baseball. Dick, yeah, if I'm scared that my dick is going to get zapped, I'm going to go to uh, no ejaculation. Obviously, they don't tie fucking uh, battery chargers on it. I and never fucking said they zap. tie no, battery chargers. It's not... They, it's like me. How, How could you say that? Obviously, they don't... Why were you answering a question no one asked? <laughs> okay, so you're... <laughs> you're such an idiot. You're walking around with this battery pack in your pocket Sounds and like wires fun. going to your Obviously, dick. Obviously, it's not a dinosaur. Who's... <laughs> You're just making shit up. Yeah. So look, obviously they don't zap it. They zap it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's zapping. Zap. It. Okay, yeah, it's like a tiny. It's like a. Bzz. It's not a. Bzz. I don't want anyone zapping my dick. No, but it's a. Bzz. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of <laughs> other options before you have to go do that. Yeah, if you if you if you've made it down the list to zapping your penis, you got other issues. I think that's only. For I think you like therapy. it at that point. Just rub. You're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't come. <laughs> oh, zap I come. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not working. <laughs> Just rub one out an hour before the date. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's true. So you know, yeah, that's what I. Correct. 
But it's called <coughs> the something about Mary strategy. No, but no, then again, I never had uh, any come issues with that. Hmm. Oh, remember how Have beautiful Cameron Diaz never. used to be? You never had come in your hair. Never. You're not a real stiller. You remember that? Uh, is I that don't. moose? Is that from uh, American Pie? Something Pot? about Mary. No. Yeah. Is oh, that moose? I only. <laughs> No, it's from American History X. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> I like uh, something about Mary. Great. Did Ooh. you watch the Quebec version? Yeah, Kek shows like mode. <laughs> Is it really awesome. real? That's real. Mo- oh, my God. That would be great. <laughs> That's that was fucking good, funny. At the time, the something about Mary was fucking hilarious. Farrelly Brothers, man. Yeah. I even like the choice of the... I never watched that movie. <laughs> no? Oh, no. you'd love it. The There's choice a of Mary. Mongo in it. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And fucking Matt Dillon's Earmuffs. No, Everybody's no. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna love it. Everybody's good in that movie. Yeah, Matt Dillon's good in it. Yeah, Every, it, oh. yeah very good movie. You didn't yeah. see that? No, never. Oh. Something about Mary. You've not. Ne- I'm surprised. No, you, you saw it. Is it like you American just, Pie esque? No. No, no. Better. No. American Better. Pie. Yeah, American Pie Better. is coming of age comedy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Raunchy comedy. This is yeah, raunchy. Stupid. It's very raunchy. American and that's pie. just stupidity. Yeah, this is also raunchy, but it's more of an adult. Rom com raunch, so intelligent raunchy mm. from the guys who brought you Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. As, okay, as intelligent, I intelligent raunchy, but like. the original Dumb and Dumber. Don't compare okay. it to the sequels. Okay, okay. So it, it was very, very fun. It was a fun movie at the time. Okay. It was well, and Cameron Diaz, she was known at the time as a uh, grade the, A hottie, the hot girl from. Yes. Um, she was very uh, hot. Mask. mask, yeah, yeah, but she didn't really have an ass. I find. No, because she had a mask. <laughs> she had a fucking... She I'm was sure busy she had a with a mask. Bro. I never liked those really slim, um, like, hips, almost no hips. You on know who I like? Style. The guy... Uh, I don't like that. I liked... Moesha. You know the guy who played the bad guy in the mask? Peter Green. That fucking face, bro. Yeah, his he name's... Was, uh, he was Zed, no? He played Zed and yeah, Red he Foot. he has a fucking face Ooh, to be a bad guy. Yeah, good actor, that yeah. guy. Oh, the bad guy in uh, The Mask. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Epic yeah, face, yeah. this guy. Yeah, yeah. he has, has a little... bad guy. Yeah. He I, has a bad guy face. I love that, bro. Un- That's, un- un- yeah. Uninsurable, I think. I think he his personal problems, because uh, that guy... Oh, really? ...should have been better, bigger. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Th- have you heard rumors? Yeah, he's time? always all over uh, uh, C ah. movies uh, in LA because he does uh, fucked up shit, and, uh, like a uh, mad sometimes twenty. You know? Yeah, because he looks like he could take some drugs and fuck yeah. some whores. Yeah, yeah, good. But he was Red Foot. Uh, he was um, uh, Happy Foot. Red Foot in The Usual Suspects, a bad guy in a Mask, and uh, what else was he in? I've seen him in a couple of things. I'm forgetting now. Yeah, he was Zed. I feel like he's if Zed I Zed lost Zed. weight, I could I could pull off bad guys. No, you're too oh. goofy. Yeah. yeah, I'm goofy now as a fat dude. No, no, no. I don't mean the way you look. Yeah, your voice, age. you're goofy. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you my gotta voice. Age. But that's why. That's what I. I always hated that about my fucking voice. Uh, it sounds goofy as fuck, and I. I don't know. I could never imagine being me. You don't have a goofy voice. No, I mean I have to hear it. Oh, <laughs> he don't goofed but, on but you. I, I never, I never liked that about. I always hated that shit about my voice. That's why I can't listen to, you don't to like what your, we do. Your recorded voice. I hate, hate, hate my no, recorded no, your voice. Your voice is fine. Yeah, but not. I for sound, what you do. but I, I feel like I sound. Yeah, no, obviously, but I. Everyone sound, hates the sound of their own voice. And I also sound too goofy. I wish I didn't sound too goofy. You sound like a kid or something. When you're yeah, I don't like it. I want like a like a big, retarded kid. I find, and I hate that shit. Cause I you don't sound, sound like, like what you look like, bro. Oh, go fuck yourself. Who has a good voice for you? Uh, what do you mean? Whose voice do you like? Travolta. Yeah, this oh, I don't know. Good. I never really thought about. It. I just never Keanu. liked mine. What if you spoke? Yeah. I am Poseidon. Uh, Keanu. I don't know, guys. You want your voice, oh. Neo? What about that real um, British Valley Girl English? Would you? Hi you guys, it's Poseidon <laughs> no, that, here. That pisses me the fuck off. Hi guys, welcome to live. That, with that makes me very aggressive. This makes me want to throw that voice. Want to makes me yeah. throw. Makes so me here's th- the thing: I got into an argument hands, with the guy at the coffee shop because he was like, "You can't have a gift card." I was like, "But I already bought a gift card from him uh, before." Bro. And like, you could get two gift cards. Like, oh my god! Okay, give me both. You want makes you want to eat glass. <laughs> I'd rather eat glass. Yes, <laughs> you'd rather eat that. To be honest, <laughs> hey, I already do. Uh, <laughs> so if you could steal uh, an actor's voice and it'd be yours, who would you pick? Oh, this is difficult. Hold on. That's a good Batman. Question. No, it would be too weird every time you call someone. I'm Poseidon. They'd be like, all right, I'm done. Take a left on St. Catherine. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's a good one, but no, still too goofy, too... Hi, hi, sir. Yeah. 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 Hi, it's Poseidon. Are you doing a podcast Yeah, no, today? that would be weird. Uh... 
What's his uh, fucking name, bro? Ooh. Um, what about the? It was all a dream. No, Biggie. Biggie Smalls has a good. He had voice. a good voice. Hey, I'm Poseidon. What up, guys? No, it doesn't sound like that though. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was all a dream. It was all Poseidon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's a good voice. Genesis. What? I don't know. Um, I couldn't all. picture this. <laughs> Uh, he has a good voice. No, but... Uh, yeah, Biggie has a good voice. Yeah, Biggie has a very uh, good voice. It doesn't fit you, though. It doesn't fit me. No, it doesn't fit me at all. You Maybe Johnny Depp? He has a good voice, but too... Um, Accent. He does that thing with his mouth that's weird, and I feel like it changes his voice. Yeah, he does a lot. He does, what the hell are you talking about? He does this a lot. What the fuck are you doing? He does this, you haven't noticed that? Do what does he do? He does this a lot. But you do it while you're speaking so we can see but how... Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I, think like, he, like, I think he has like crack jitters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like cocaine jitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does when he yeah, talks. Yeah, like, and you see it a lot in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, he's a bit of a retard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're talking like he's about maybe perhaps a bit drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah uh, but Maybe like, he's but acting. That's acting. No, 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 no. This is, this is Johnny. That I've noticed... Well, he doesn't normally dress like a pirate. I understand, but he does that a lot. Not just in Pirates of the Caribbean. He's. I've I mean, when that. I met him, the guy was finished. He was a wreck. So yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. So I like uh, that movie. Um, by the way, he's, uh, uh, drunk the whole movie. What the hell is that movie? Him and Benicio del Toro. There. Fucking. Oh, Fear and Loathing ah, in Las Vegas. Fucking. That's that's the best. Yeah. That's a good movie. Hold on, I'm trying to think. Whose voice would I like to have? Steven Seagal. Ah, uh, maybe. No. That's that's a man's voice. Yeah. Not really. I'm under siege. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I know you're trying to think. <laughs> I don't know. I got to listen to a few. If I if, if I could pick a voice for him, why not a writer? I don't know who this is. Yeah. 100%. Earlier I today, Poseidon like asked me, cause he's you, know, you know when you have to read the sides? Poseidon knew that the, one of the cops talking to me was a woman. He's like, and I regret telling him no. He's like, should I read no, this as a woman? A woman bro. Why I should have, I have said, a woman's voice. I should have said, yeah, voice. Poseidon, respond like a woman. I should have had you read the sides like a woman today. I should, like, yeah. I would. I, I, I probably would have read like a Peter. Lois okay. Griffin. Yeah. Right, what's next on your shit list? You. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got carried. I'm sorry, guys. Next on the list is <laughs> Michael Jackson. Oh, shit. He didn't have a... Oh, actually, he did. He did yeah. hang his child over a window. Yeah. Well, there was uh, maybe three of them, yeah. yeah. So uh, one of them was very quickly, the paparazzi was outside in Berlin uh, screaming at him, and uh, fans were... And he decided... As people tend to do in the streets of Berlin. And uh, so as he was uh, hanging over the balcony, he they wanted to see pictures of his baby. He literally held his newborn baby over the balcony for a split second. That was very scary. That's meltdown one. I don't think that's a meltdown. I think we're I classifying it as a meltdown. Yeah, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't classify crazy that as a person. No, nah, I would just be like, uh, um, number two. Um, that's, I feel, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. That is uh, father behavior, in my opinion. Have no. you seen fathers that's handling you, the My father, father never hung me from a balcony. Oh, like in, okay. um, in Florence and Hannibal. Besides, his father tried to throw him off the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, uh, the kid fucking landed on his stomach and came right back up. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that's he, what I was going to He had that interview where the guy, the British guy, uh, made him say stupid shit. That but, was fucked up. But yeah. but the biggest... Yeah, um, he had dropped the N-word and they're like, ah, no. you can't say it anymore, Whitey. And it was a whole thing. <laughs> but he, his biggest one had to have been... You're one of us now. <laughs> uh... uh he came out with an album, Michael Jackson, if you remember, in the 2001 called Invincible. This is uh, short hair Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson uh, performing with Britney Spears at the MTV Awards and some shit where he does never probably... never followed any of this shit as he a kid. He does probably the worst rendition of uh, The Way You Make Me Feel, him and, and um, Britney Spears. I remember this. They performed it live. You know, the... How do you know all this? Because I'm Guido. And uh, he was really, really fucked up during that performance. Was he, he was, black or white at the time? He was very white. Uh, so this is 2001. That's uh, a shame. He goes to Times Square uh, unexpectedly, uh, just shows up in Times Square out of a limo, stands on top of the hood of his car. Oh, I like where this is going. And, and uh, fans, Papa, everybody, it's the center of the world. And he jumps on the hood of his car and he starts doing devil horns to the press saying... Tommy Matola from Sony is the devil, is the devil. 
and he was going after Sony hard. That's true, though. Uh, Tom Mottola is a devil. Was he doing this? That's exactly what he did. I'm not even kidding. That was a uh, horse. I'm uh, sorry. But, uh, <laughs> so that was that was very public. Uh, he was in bad shape there. And um, yeah. that's when all that uh, Jesus juice stuff was going on. What and then the he got so Excuse mad, me? he would drink wine. But because his kids were around, he would ask his assistant to bring him Jesus juice instead of wine. Uh, and then he was living in Bahrain. Uh yeah, he was Sometimes. living in Bahrain, and a couple of weeks before he croaked, Bahrain. Um, Opie and Anthony had the luxury of having a comedian on who had just hung out with Michael Jackson, and then like where though in Bahrain? Yeah, and then uh, what happened? Next in week Bahrain? he died. I don't know. He was living there for a long time. Is, isn't that, that like a Islamic place? Yeah, they 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 paid him like a million dollars to perform an hour at some fucking, and he was at some Sultan of Brunei's house and lived Jeez. there for a fucking year. Uh, yeah, they paid him a million dollars for the year, for the for an hour. Oh shit! Like not even like that's. Could yeah, you imagine making a million dollars an hour, bro? Yeah, they could just work one hour of the year. Very sad story that Michael Jackson shit. Yeah, for you maybe. Yeah, and do you remember when uh, videos of his ghost started coming out? Do you remember that bullshit, bro? When I remember that when I was a teenager, it was whatever. jump scare. Yeah, it was jump scare. Look, look, you could see him walking in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just Medea. Yeah. Tyler yeah, Perry. I, I, I remember my friend Nick, Badia, um, my friend Nick from Park X, one of the largest human beings I ever met in my life. This guy had the luxury of being Celine Dion's bodyguard. Oh yeah, you told me. And about uh, this. he ends up uh, at an awards show with Celine and Oprah, and now he's walking them towards somewhere, and they're with Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry got mad at my friend Nick because he thought Tyler Perry was security for Oprah. He didn't know who the hell Tyler Perry was. And Tyler Perry got mad at Nick because he, he thought he was the other security guard. He's like, yeah. no, I'm Tyler Perry. I don't know. Whatever. I um, mean, he played, uh, he played the numbers game. Exactly. I, I was about to say something. The odds were high that it was security. <laughs> exactly. I was about to say something. I hope Nick's doing well. I don't know where he is. Uh, that's it. I'm starving. What's Are we next? Chinese All right, food? number one. Oh, chicken. Oh, boy. Portuguese chicken. I'm in the mood. Oh, that's delicious. I had a Milano salad. Uh, representative or Republican. Republican, R. Bud Dwyer. Okay. Do you know what this is? Uh, no. Yo. Okay, can I talk about it? Uh, wait, can we let the guy who knows what's happening talk no, about no, it? No, no, but I want his reaction. Okay. Yo, so he showed me a motherfucking a video, bro, and I was like, bruh. It was, like, shocking. Okay? So, this was a Republican who got... Uh, accused of embezzlement, I think, or hiding money. Yeah, yeah, he got accused of embezzlement, and he was denying it. No, 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 no. Like I did 1987. Not do it. Yeah, 1987. And what happened was he came out on national TV. He held a press conference, basically, if I'm not mistaken. He held a press conference and he gave letters to all the press or whatever, and all the people there, basically explaining how he didn't do it and the reason for what he's about to do is because of all the bullshit that's been coming out and all the pressure from the media he should have just killed himself and, then, and, he, and he motherfucking pulled out danny glover's gun from lethal weapon bro and he just he, shot himself he, he just did this oh, oh, he stole my bit after i gave it <laughs> they're all, they're all go- dave landau and he shot himself wears this t-shirt <laughs> so this guy goes uh, yeah, literally yeah, yeah. you you hear the audience say no 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 yeah uh and he just bites the bullet legit and uh his nose looked like a river man Oh, and, he killed uh, himself on TV. Yeah, on TV. And um, the other one was... What uh, was the ratings on sh- that, though? Shat the, oh, yeah. They I think through it. the roof. Yeah, just like... Uh, well, through the roof, the, the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> That's how the Monday Night War started. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, the, 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 through the journalist, uh, the female version of this was a journalist named uh, Chatham. Yeah, I heard, uh, yeah, you showed uh, me that. It's so. pronounced Chaning Tatom. And, and what she did was uh, she didn't bite the bullet. She went this way. Boom. Yeah. And uh, she... Yeah, through the temple. Was, this one is yeah. more um, very, very dark. This Awful. One's more um, like more chances of killing yourself. Never worth it. Never, never worth of surviving it. this. Really? Yeah. Nope. Um, never. Oh worth my it. god! It's uh, wow. Yeah, uh, I knew we shouldn't have added this. Yeah, that's pretty depressing. What's your half? Just move along because that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, starting at episode ten. <laughs> Guido Grasso, what hey. the fuck? <laughs> You've had a public meltdown. I uh, yeah. slowly had one. Here. Yeah, slowly. But Very by the slowly. way, he's looking good. He's losing weight. What yeah, a guy. Yeah, seriously, bro. He is. You, I'm, I'm proud of you. 
Thank you. I'm still, uh, I'm still on the ketogenic diet. Good, good. Karajanic, it's pronounced. It's Indian. Yeah, uh, which is why uh, I'm... Um, by the I'm way, cra- craving Portuguese chicken. Shanghai becomes nightmare vision of dystopia with zero COVID lockdown. People in hazmat suits walk around. They're not letting anyone out of their houses. They're oh trying to get God. to zero COVID. How many yeah. are left? <coughs> huh? <coughs> they want to get to zero. Yeah, it's never going to happen. It's I like love the timing of my cough, by it's the like, way. Yeah, it's like what they did here with the government. I think it's all a ploy. They go, we know it can't get down to zero, so we're just going to impose... Our draconian rules. Oh, yeah, but know. in China they go hardcore, bro. In China oh, they 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 uh, <sighs> they weld doors of apartment complexes shut. Something happened. And when we say apartment complex in China, it's not like the apartment complex is here with like no. yeah. When we say in China, we mean apartment complex. No, no, not with like two hundred fifty apartments. There no, no, we're like we're we're in a uh, ten person house right yeah, now. They're, they're yeah, they're like they have like eight hundred apartment complexes. No, but something happened the other day at the restaurant. I just remembered it was uh, we were busy. It was like Friday night. On a Friday night at 8.30, yeah, I, I got like 12 pizzas to make. I'm not, All I'm thinking about is making pizza. And a guy came in, and the, the other guy in the kitchen had the mask. I had the mask here. And he was mad that uh, the, there wasn't enough people wearing masks, and they left. There were five people. I'm like, okay. Why, why would you go to a restaurant if you're scared of that then? I don't know. I just, I'm like... I don't know. But hold and, on. And, and if, we, they, if they sit down, they can remove it. I legit yeah. told the guy. I legit Very told the guy. I want to accommodate you. I'm sorry. What do you need? And he just. I need want, to be able to eat through the mask. He, he, he like, didn't want to hear it, and he left. I you know, you. my parents both had COVID. You know what I mean? Like, I. Wh- why are you judging me? Shut up. Oh, whoever this was, I hope you're listening. And you know what? Go suck up. Anyway, whatever. I don't know why he. You know, like. But our, first, be safe. Uh, put the mask over the yes. cup. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of The Intellectual. You're welcome, sir. Very hippity hoppity of you. Yes, very hippity hoppity of me. Yes, we are hippity hoppiting all over hip the place. Hop, the hip 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 hop. Hop. Patreon.com slash Pam. Yes. I'm, uh, I have TV slash Deep Assign 69. Instagram and Twitter, Deep Assign 69. Guido Grasso is online at Guido Grasso JR. That's on Instagram and on Twitter. You can also find Guido Grasso Jr. on the Facebooks. Yeah, yeah. Search up Guido Grasso Jr. On Facebook. Also, he's on tour right now. Goddamn right. Link tree in the description. I yeah. think I got Vancouver soon. And uh, the link tree is also uh, in your bio on Instagram. Thank you. That's, what I, meant to, that's what I meant to say. Thank well, you, guys. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Uh, You've been intellectual. Remember, live fast, eat ass. <laughs>